Welcome back to the Rig Review, and today I'm going to take a look at the Giants. He is a Giant. This is part of a Basics pack, as you can see. And what is the Basics pack? That is part of Pro Rigs. This is a collection of a ton of really awesome rigs. Cool design. You got creatures, you got kids, you got family, and everything. Going through them one by one. Last time we had robots. Now I'm going to go through the Basics. Yes, they will be on my Animation Movie site, linked to the Pro Rigs site as well. But on here you can see the review of what I've done so far from them and other rigs as well. So feel free to send me a link to your rig. I have a long list. I have a long list to go through. So, but still, if you have anything to show me, let me know. I will take a look at it. And then let's go back. You can see this is what I'm looking at today. This is the big guy. You have, speaking of big, you have different body shapes, which is great. Male, female, down to kind of young adults, kids, teenagers. Would be kind of cool. Maybe some kids, like basic kids, maybe. And then you have more athletic ones, male, female, however you want to tweak them. And it also includes a basic bouncing ball. You've got your pendulum here as well. And a blobby ball with two legs for basic walk cycles and stuff like that. So really cool collection. And I'm going to take a look at this big guy. And there we have the giant. There you go. That's the design. It's pretty cool. Be really neat to also have a female version of that, just kind of two like a Hulk, a She Hulk type of thing in uh, in tandem. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, but let's go through the controls. Top one, as always, you have all this. You can't scale, that's on a different controller, but there you can move things around. And as always, you can take this one if you want and bring this down, and that will give you a different pivot. And you select this, and now it's Superman flying. You have though here, if you select this one, then you can select this controller. And you can switch to custom and then you can see that you change colors here red green and blue as well as exposure and then of course you got the bigger controller here and here you can move things around as well this is where you have the global scale like that you can turn all those controllers on and off you also have extra gimbal controllers as you can see here and then you have body polish which i will leave on you can turn off arm geometry body here and head neck and legs which is great and then you can see the complexity simple mid and high so i'm gonna keep that on the simple side here that's that for the main controllers let's go to the feet i should call them feet <laughs> they're huge so this is your ik leg as you can see here and then when you rotate this the knee doesn't follow you have that through this guy here, which also has a pin knee. As with anything, I would love to have kind of a twist function, and it does. So here's your twist function on the leg, if you don't want to use this controller. You also have a use pull vector on off. You can see that here, so you want to tell that, turn that on off or not. You have a, let's go back here. Since this is a function where it's on the floor, you got the foot roll. There you go. You got a foot bank. Big fan on the used, there I say. And then you got this one, heel pivot. You got the uh, two together here, toe pivot, like that. And then you got a toe spin, like this. And a foot squash, which is pretty cool. I like that. Then here, this one gives you rotations like that. You can also translate that around like this. And then this back one here, foot scale, all three axes. So you can see what's happening here. But if you want to change that for whatever reason, then in a different axis that's totally up to you you have the ikfk leg switch so sw switches to that and then you got your classic leg like that and you can do all the things like that let's go back here then you have the snap ik you have the follow world and all the good stuff here you have upper leg stretch yes or no lower leg as well volume compensation as well and auto stretch and if you don't know auto stretch you take this and it's on and if you don't want this let's go back here you can say auto stretch off there you go of course this is left and right the same thing then you got your benbows boing boing here and here just translates i would love to be able to scale so basically reshape a rig not every rig has that and it's tricky essentially to do but on my you know wish list where i don't have to do any of the work i would love to do that then you have this here you can move that in and out again anything with scale right you would select the foot scale you can do it like this but here you can't so i would love to have that 
just everywhere on every controller. I'm always a big fan of that. Um, but it's continue bamboos just since it's here. You have that obviously on all of them. And again, you can select that on this control here. That is the body polish. Turn that off. We let's just go to the hips first. Hips, you can see how much it gets influenced here. Rotates and translates, no scale. Then you got your root, of course. It's all the stuff that the root does. Then we have this one here, that's the spine blend. So you can move that here to readjust your spine like that. Obviously, it's just one axis, but goes everywhere. And then we can go up. You have another controller for your chest like that. And then you got one more up here to go like that. And you have also value compensation. Here's a channel for that. If I just continue with these controllers, this is this guy like that. And then you have another one up here that does the, the neck mid. So you can move that stuff around. That's kind of cool. And then up here, you have the upper neck or basically the head here that moves around. No scale, but you can translate. So you can move that around. It's almost like a, an Egyptian character here, More like a like a cobra. Uh, you have squash and stretch through there, and then you have head size like that. Now, making sure that everything is on, just to see I didn't miss anything. So this is the only head squash and stretch. There is no, as you can see, extra controller. I would love still a controller up here. So take a tool here. So, you know, one here and it'd be cool, like one down here. So you can squash and stretch this section with this and with this controller, like wherever you pull that controller out, that's where that head would uh, squash and stretch. I think that will be cool. Moving over, well, let's put the shoulders here. You got that, rotate and translate. Uh, there's no auto clavicle, but you got this for your arm, obviously auto stretch on and off pull vector stuff on and off. You have a pin elbow, which is great, which by the way, the knee has as well. Then let's go back here. We have that kind of showing here. This is your IK arm. So the hands does not follow the forearm. That is another feature that I would say I 99% of the rigs don't have. It's interesting. Uh, I do love it at work. We used to have that. It was great. Um, but most rigs don't have it. This is for the base finger control here. Obviously you can go all the way down. You can select these and curl your fingers separately like that. You can actually translate these and bring them out if you want. And you can see this here goes, this is the same here. That's the shape of the controller, but you can select this one here and then you have IK FK arm. So obviously we're gonna to go to an IK FK chain. So you have that type of thing. Let's go back here. You have the world and all that. You have the upper stretch, of course, lower stretch, volume compensation. Then you have the fingers. So if you don't want to do this separately, you have here all these like that. This way you have an overall splay and curl. There's also a slide like that, which is cool. I don't see that too often. Scrunch, thumb curl, and then a relax. So like a quick relax pose, that's cool. And then for the palm, you have that you got your arch your cup and then you are x like that so that's the big part right there and then of course this way as well and an overall head scale if you want someone to fight like that that is of course on both sides and that pretty much concludes it again checking on the head you got the stretchiness of this that's all we have and again it's very light as always i'm going to do my jump test just to see how this runs on my older machine uh, and then let's see you later. And there we go. We got a jump as always. Do something quick, rough, just to kind of see how it works. And it works pretty well. As always, it's fast. There's a fast rigs. This is on the lowest setting. So if I look at complexity and go complexity two. This is what this looks like at two. You can see some stutter at the end. This is on my machine. And if I go back to zero, that's what you get right there. But still very cool. What I'm still having, and this is, I don't know if that's my machine uh, or my Maya, I don't know. 
Um, when you have anything in here, let's say foot roll or bank or squash, I select it again, like I do, I do middle mouse drag on my mouse and nothing's happening. I have to go into the graph editor and change it. So anything that I haven't used yet, see that, use it once, use it again, it doesn't work. So I'm curious, anybody else who uses those rigs, let me know in the comments, do you have that as well? Is that just my Maya, which is it's usually <laughs> Maya related, the kind of user related type of thing. It is a basic rig, so you don't need any other crazy stuff. I think depending on how far how far you want to go with this, it would be cool since this is such a ginormous, you know, bulky guy here. This is called the Giant. Uh, maybe in the future some breathing control in the chest, chest in and out, stomach in and out, potential like bicep flexing. So if you do, that's the, too many controls at once here, but if you do this, you know, whatever pose you have, then it would be kind of cool to have extra controllers to maybe flex the bicep, uh, you know, anything with muscles. I think that would be kind of cool to get some body jiggle in there, maybe some butt cheek jiggle, anything where we can kind of tweak the muscular parts uh, of this character. And there you go. That is the giant amongst many other versions of this basic set, which is really cool. They got all kinds of types, as you saw at the beginning. And that's it for my walk through, jump through, whatever you want to call this. Thanks for watching. As always, uh, thanks for watching till the very end. If you're still watching, like and subscribe. You know the drill, the algorithm, all that good stuff that we say on YouTube. And hopefully I'll see you in my next upload.